Hello students, welcome to the very important question on determinant from exemplar. This is question number 16. The question says, show that the triangle ABC is isosceles triangle if the given determinant is zero. That is the value of the determinant is zero. So uh, here they're using delta as the determinant and delta is also used as the symbol of the triangle ABC. So you should not be confused. So in the first line, delta ABC is the symbol of a triangle, whereas delta is used uh, down below for the determinant. Well, because the value of the determinant is given as zero, so obviously you need to solve it and uh, you need to get that uh, two of the angles or two sides are equal. So we, we can feel lucky because the first row is one, 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 and we can make two consecutive rows zero. So the operation could be uh, C1 goes to C1 minus C3 and C2 goes to C2 minus C3. So you can pause the video, get your copy and pen, try that your, on your own, or we can solve it together. So now the first two operations will be, and you can apply them simultaneously. Remember in CBSC, when you are subtracting the same row or column, then you can apply as many operations. Otherwise you have to go one by one. So clearly uh, the first two operations and you can apply them simultaneously are C1 goes to C1 minus C3 and C2 goes to C2 minus C3. And that will make two consecutive zeros. And that's a big achievement. So you can see and on further simplification, I'm sure uh, you will do it like this. This is the simplification. And now what you can do, you can um, either take that to two cross two, or you will be interested in taking cos A minus cos C common from column one or cos B minus cos C common from column two. So there are two ways. Either you can take that to two cross two, or you can take uh, cos A minus cos B common from column column one and cos B minus cos C common from column two. So this will be a further simplification. Now after that, when you take common, you will be left with So right now, uh, you can you can prove on this side will be amplification and the other side will be zero. So because you cannot have two equalities. So right now, if you want to prove, you can simply prove that cos A is equal to cos C, uh, which means A is equal to C. So you right now, you can prove that the triangle is isosceles, but we'll solve it further and we'll, we'll solve the remaining determinant. And that is... along R1 using the element A13. So what do we get? So we get simply this into this determinant. That is 1 zero okay so now when we further simplify you can cancel one with minus one you can cancel plus cos c with minus cos c and you can see that now we have three factors with us and this question is so beautiful because we have three factors and each time if i take 
So either cos A minus cos C is equal to zero. This implies cos A is equal to cos C. This implies angle A is equal to angle C because this is a triangle. So if two angles are equal, then triangle is isosceles. Or cos B is equal to cos C, which means angle B is equal to angle C. Again, it is isosceles triangle. And thirdly, cos B equals cos A, which is also indicating that angle B is equal to angle A. So in each case, triangle is isosceles. And one thing is clear that it is purely isosceles because either angle A will be equal to angle C or angle C will be equal to angle B and or angle B will be equal to angle A. The three cannot be equal at the same time. So the triangle is purely isosceles. So this proves the uh, target and uh, you can further do similar questions from the exemplar. Thank you. God bless you.